Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. Hope everybody had a good week. This is going to be Taurus and Libra. Sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G for April 2021. Oh, so let's see what we got going on with Taurus and Libra. Ooh, and that showed up when I was shuffling, improvise. Uh-oh, somebody pregnant? Wait a minute. They created sacred space just showing up today for everybody. Good grief. Taurus and Libra, what the hell? Three, four, five, six, seven major arcana. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven major arcana. What the hell y'all got going on? I don't like that the chariot is at the top in the front end of your overall energy towards because it's telling me you're thinking about going in a different direction. Um, that is sitting on top of the improvised card is really speaking to you kind of faking it till you make it. Uh, and that apparently is the energy that you're in because you're not real okay and I'm and now here I am feeling hesitant and uncertain about what the fuck. So this is going to be for Taurus and Libras that have been together at least a couple of years, probably not more than five. Um, Taurus is not happy. The back end of the overall energy is a strength card on top of the give birth card. And so I'm going to have to believe some of you may be pregnant. But in the midst of all of this, you're not happy about none of it. Others of you may be trying to give birth to the idea of moving on without Libra. Obviously, that's going to require some strength. You're obviously going through a new phase with Libra. Um, for some of you, it may just be that you are, you've already had the baby, and now you're trying to figure out how you're growing and expanding, what else you need to do. Your challenge here with the sun card on top of the choreograph card um, first thing I notice is all the colors just the variety of color between those two oh great <laughs> yeah this is your challenge um, to deal with whatever is in the shadows, bring it forth and, and blend it in appropriately. So whatever lessons you're learning, whatever lessons you have learned, Taurus, I think that's for you. Um, for those of you that are trying to consider staying in your relationship even though you've hit this rough patch um you may need to you may have to choreograph some shit and make it work and it's gonna be on you because that's the sun card so it's not like you can pass the buck to somebody else for those of you that are thinking about leaving same energy you may have to coordinate what's going on because now may not be financially the best time to move um, so there, there's some wheeling and dealing here, depending on where you are in your relationship. 
Um, <clears throat> those of you that are pregnant and maybe unexpectedly so, that sign is saying, you know, you're going to have to hang this one out on your own. Um, especially if there's something wrong with the relationship that you're not real happy with enough to make you want to do a chariot type thing and get in the hoo ride and roll the fuck out. So looking at this first week in April, the death card on top of Master of the Dance. Um, <clears throat> Taurus, that, that's your message. Overcoming your fears and doing what you need to do and I okay I'm coming back to the baby thing now some of you may decide you know you can't you can no longer do the Taurus Libra thing and so you're gonna have to have said baby by yourself others of you may have other responsibilities it may be a house it might be a six or seven hundred dollar luxury car note every month but you're gonna have to overcome your fears master the whole little dance thing between your finances and what you need to do. That death card is very much about transformation um, and the changes that need to be made. So some of you may have to be thinking about that, especially if you're considering um, leaving the relationship. Others of you that are, are in the relationship, once again, it's still the same thing. Overcoming your fears... And maybe the conversation is about having a baby. You haven't had one yet. And now Libra Taurus, either one, come on, come on, come on, why not? And it's really just the thing. And, and I get it. I mean, shit, the middle of COVID and all crazy crap going on. I can feel some of you practical Taurus is going, hmm, not, not now, not now. But this is asking you to look at it whatever the situation may be, and overcome, that's major energy. And master that. Some of you have some consideration and thinking to do. Um, dealing with your shadows and looking at mistakes you might be making or mistakes you're going to make and being okay with that again there there is a level of fear here and I don't know if it's Taurus or Aquarius it's scared to make that next step to move forward um, which then brings us to the, the, the last cards in the row decisions on top of the collaborate and the decision is whether or not you want to collaborate and this like I said is on many levels some of you are pregnant and you're making a decision you may not stay you may have baby said baby on your own or if you're the male you may be trying to just get out however it goes there's a decision to be made um, when we get to the second week in April with the Hierophant on top of Creative Sacred Space. Creative Sacred Space has been coming up for every tourist reading I've done in the past 48 hours. It's been brief, I'm sick of seeing it. But it must be a strong message for tourists because that's a consistent component here about creating a sacred space and considering, taking some time to consider what kind of commitment you want. So as you come out of the Knight of Swords energy of decision making and into uh, the Hierophant and your choices are plentiful. That's a street sign with 50 different signs on it. You can go in all kinds of different directions. There's a note here with this Create the Sacred Space. You may need to be thinking outside of the box. And so by creating sacred space in your home, in your heart, in your mind. It doesn't necessarily have to be some little corner of your house, but creating a sacred space where you can process and deal with this. Think about the commitment, the level of commitment. Um, 
that you're willing to put into this. And so I'm really here couples that haven't had the baby yet. Nobody's pregnant, none of that. But you're having that conversation. And so universe is telling you maybe it's time to, to take a step back. However you do it, meditating, journaling, hiking, bowling, whatever your meditation thing is. Maybe it's time to get with that and start considering the level of commitment you are willing to deal with at this point. This talks about inner purity. You know, why are you in the relationship? Once again, dealing with the level of commitment. Why do you want to be in a relationship? There are obviously some answers that are better than others. So the universe is telling you to take that time and think about what it is that you're committing to and who you're committed, whom you're committing to. More personal and private time with the hermit card here. Um, as long as you are dealing with your shit on the inside, your patience will be rewarded. All the isolation and time, you, you will be rewarded one way or the other. Whether you stay in a relationship, leave it, have a baby, buy a house, get a car, whatever, your patience will be rewarded. But the universe is going to make sure you get, you're going to create the sacred space in the hermit card if you dog on, going to make sure that you have the time to create the time to take some time to deal with the moon. And see, there's the moon again, that shadow. Dealing with the shadow part and being okay with making a mistake. Just make them. Life to do. You do life. Just said this. We don't come into this experience with an instruction book. They don't give us no directions. You just get thrown here, like, hey. And you have to figure the complicated stuff out. So don't be afraid. That's the other thing I feel. A lot of y'all have just. Straight ass afraid, especially when it comes to babies or um, carrying some additional responsibilities. Some of you may be even dealing with the consideration of blending your families. You're talking about taking another step up into your relationship, um, going from boyfriend and girlfriend to maybe fiance or husband and wife. And now you got kids you're dealing with, and there may be some trepidation there. Take the time to spend with yourself, Taurus, Libra, either one, whoever I'm talking to, and mull over it. I know I saw the slow down card when I was shuffling, and some of you may need to just do that. Slow down and take the time to process whatever it is you need to process. And this is not a thing, again, with the sun card here, this may not be a thing that you do together. This may be both of you need to go to your separate corners and think about the level of commitment, looking in the mirror and really understanding that if you're patient, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or whatever you want, we will come to you, you'll be rewarded, but you've got to deal with you. At the end of that, the five of swords on top of the offer, the offer may come in fear and crisis. Once again, I'm hearing, looking at the motivation, inner purity, why, 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 from the beginning to the end, as always with these roles, um, doing something out of fear. Now, this side talks about an alternate point of view, but again, doing something out of fear is no way to do anything. Creating a crisis to make a decision is not to, for you, you drama lovers out there. That's not a way to um, figure this out. But the offer is coming. One or somebody's gonna make the offer. And I don't know, I feel like Taurus is not. Let me put it this way. Cause it could be Aquarius, female Aquarius. Divine, divine feminine in this situation, in, in the primary situation, obviously they're a gazillion. Take with yours, leave the rest. Um, the divine, divine Feminine is not feeling this. Divine Feminine feels like she's got some extra stuff she wants to do. However, the Divine Male is like, hey, why can't we do this though? So now, whoever the male and the female is, y'all figure that part out. Uh, and it could be reversed. But however it's going, somebody's hesitating and somebody's going, hey, come on, let's go. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Other person like, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. 
right on. <laughs> Whatever you're talking about, go ahead. So, looking at the third week in April, the Six of Cups on top of the Take the Lead. That's been coming out a lot, too. Um, whatever emotional renewal, and I'm, I'm directed back to the Sun card, whatever emotional renewal needs to occur, Taurus, you're going to have to take the lead on it. That's just to shorten the long of it. You're going to have to take the lead on it. If there's some emotional renewal, if there's going to be some kind of reconciliation of coming back together, you're going to have to be the one to initiate it towards. Libra is still very much kind of on the hedge about not understanding or knowing or feeling like they know what to do. So you may have to just jump in there and grab the reins to the horse and, and, and keep it moving. Um, tap into primal power with the ace of cups in reverse um, in order to clear up back to the challenge with, with the sun card here in order to clear up anything that's inaccurate or obscure you're going to have to get to your authentic self so this, this is, really relates to um, the truth. And not about anybody else but yourself. And this is Taurus and Aquarius both. Understanding what your truth is. And once you understand what your truth is, we can get on to the clarity and the love on the other side of this. I'm just saying. But right now, if anything is feeling inaccurate or wrong or incorrect or if information is, if you're picking up the wrong signals or whatever. Once again, I'm back to the Hermit card and the Hierophant, the backside of the Hierophant. Understanding your motivation, your true, authentic self. What is it that you really want? And see, when you start talking about babies, this kind of naturally happens. You start, well, what the fuck do I, what do, what do I really want to do? Again, I feel the weight of pentacles. So some of y'all need to slow down and really go through this process, especially if you are thinking about getting pregnant or if you're pregnant and now you're at the point where you're debating on whether or not you're going to stay in the relationship. Take your time and work through this. At the end of the third week, to clear the vessel with the Eight of Swords. Um, clear your mind of any restrictions. So if you're thinking, and I'm going to go back to Taurus on this one. If you're thinking is holding you back from doing something, you need to clear clear the vessel, clear the brain. I just said this in another reading. Uh, Buddhists talk about the monkey brain and how sometimes you have to tell the monkey brain to go sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up so you can hear yourself think. Yeah, the monkey brain, the one that just carries you down every wrong back road alley side street and have your mind just all over the place that self-imposed again it's a level of fear in that too clear all that out get rid of all that negative hesitant energy and think about what it is that you want to do take the lead Taurus take the lead and emotional renewal doesn't necessarily mean the dude is going to step off into the water. You you may come to a decision where, you know what, love you very much, but let's do this separately. That happens. It happens every day. You live in your place, I live in mine. We don't need to get married. Let's just keep going. Some of you, that may be a consideration. But don't put any self-imposed restrictions on whatever it is that you're doing. You've got a world of opportunities and choices about how you can have your relationship. In the fourth week, with the Justice card on top of the Sun and the Rain, 
seeing the true nature. Well, I didn't just say that, that primal, tapping into that primal, getting down to what you want, what the relationship requires, what the other person's ex expectations are. This is you tapping into a little legality, weighing things, options. And then it isn't this Libra. <laughs> All day, er day. This is your card, Libra. But you may have to clear the air first. I'm talking about summoning the rain. And knowing that the rain, as it is, just clears the air. So you may need to clear the air. Libra. I'm talking to you now. Hello. Hello, it's your energy. Um, but again, seeing the true nature of what's going on. And there may be some painful conversations here. Let me just say that. And this is not yelling and screaming and shouting and fighting because usually Taurus and Libra don't roll like that. But you may have some painful conversations. You may hear some. You may hear your partner or your potential partner say some shit you really don't want to hear them say. But take it. Listen to it. You don't have to hold on to it. But if you, if honestly, where is it? Tap into primal power. If honestly you're not feeling something, say it. Or if you are feeling something, say it. Whatever the case may be. But clear the air. Definitely do that. And because that's Libra's energy, I'm going to put it right there for Libra. Well, Devil card on top of the notice the patterns. I'm gonna say the devil is in the details. That's what the hell I'm gonna say. <laughs> the devil is in the dog on details. Um, seeing the light of reason of the situation, and so then you can just break that back. You know, is there a pattern where somebody has been wearing rose colored glasses and being too enthusiastic about something and not being more practical. Right out there. Seeing the light of reason. Just, you know, getting to the practical side. Is this really what's going on? And the conversations that I'm actually hearing are, do we really need a baby now? And coming back to what is the motivation? This conversation, once again, one of the painful conversations you may need to have, but that is major energy. The Justice card, major energy. So y'all got all this heavyweight energy. So this is definitely a turning point in your relationship. For some of you, like I said, it'll end. For others of you, you you stay together but doing things a little differently. Um, celebrate growth and breakthroughs at the end of the fourth week with unforeseen events. Um, there may be some money coming. There may be, if you have any kind of intellectual property, you may be getting some money off of that. There may be inheritances. Did I say that correctly? I did. You may have some of that coming. Um, you may get a windfall. You may get your stimulus, your tax return, and a bonus from, from your job all at the same time. Celebrate the growth and the breakthroughs as you go through this process. Um, there obviously are going to be some breakthroughs. You have too much major energy on the board for it not to be, whether you stay together or not. But celebrate what you learn and how, celebrate the enlightenment that you get. If you guys do split up, I don't feel like this is going to be one of, get the fuck out of the house. No, you get the fuck out of the house. I, I, don't, it's, I don't feel that malignant termination energy. I feel like this is going to be something that will have been well discussed, well thought out, just like Libra. Come on. Taurus is practical, but putting out the practical issues that may be there, it's, it's going to be well thought out, whatever you decide to do. Um, even if pregnancy is unexpected, I'm just saying, when y'all get through by the end of April, the 1st of May, Whatever's going to happen, y'all are going to be on the same page and you're, you're going to follow through with whatever it is that you decide to do. This is not going to be one of them, you know, it then broke the window and ripped the tires off my car. It's not going to be like that. Not at all. Um, those of you that stay together, you'll probably spend the, the greater part of the spring and summer 
regrouping, recharging, regenerating, kind of redoing, recouping, if not from just all the changes but from the last year of COVID. Um, by the time you guys get into the fall, you should be well on your way down a new path. Show love. And that's just what I'm saying. This doesn't feel like it's all hateful and shit. Y'all care. If you don't love each other to any greater or lesser extent, and I don't think that's the case for most of you, but you really care about each other, show love. Show love. I really, it's just, there's not a lot of negative energy here like that. Even in the arguments, you know, they may get loud. But the debate is for real, and it's earnest, and it's honest. Can't ask for more than that, for real. Let them know. Both of y'all, let, let, let each other know how you feel about whatever the circumstances are or whatever you want them to be. Let the other person know. This is not the time to hold back on how you're feeling or what you're thinking. The more you can get out there, both of y'all had a tendency, Libra especially, but Taurus too, to be very practical and logical about what the hell you're doing. Libra overthinks it. Taurus sometimes doesn't think about it enough, but the two of you, through discussion, should be able to come up with a good plan. Don't believe what you hear. So some of you dealing with outside people. You know, well, I would do this, and if he had a baby, you're good. Especially when it comes to babies, because everybody has their own little tale of woe to tell about how they had their baby and how they got pregnant, whatever. That category of you, don't believe what you hear. Do your own research. Um, if you are buying big ticket items, once again, we are not listening to the grapevine. Please don't believe some shit somebody said on Facebook about the 2022 new Mercedes, because they're going to have the information all wrong. This is pretty much telling me to tell you to keep it in-house. Um, anything that you're, you're discussing between the two of you, I probably wouldn't have a whole lot of it out in the air, as it were. Probably wouldn't be doing a whole lot of discussing with family members and friends. The two of you need to go through this and work it out together. Um, I, like I said, by the end of April, y'all will definitely know what direction you're going in, and it, it will be amicable. So that's a good thing if you're going to split up. Those of you that are staying together, please make sure that whatever you're doing moving forward, i.e., especially those of you buying a house, be careful who you get involved with. Coming back to that, don't believe what you hear. Um, your cousin, sister's next door neighbor. And you, know, you know, he's an attorney. You need to give him a call. Oh boy, yeah, okay. Don't believe what you hear. Do your own research. Taurus and Libra, I love you. I hope you guys have a good weekend and a good start to your month of April. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.